Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. This evening I thought I would go doing the challenge that was set by Paul from which city collector and it is the Mother's Day Show Your Station Wagons and Minivans Challenge. So basically, show your station wagons and minivans um, in celebration of Mother's Day, as far as I'm aware of. So I haven't got many station wagons, sorry, many minivans, sorry, but I've got an endless supply of uh, station wagons or as we call them over here in the UK we call them estate cars but uh, like I said I haven't got many mini uh, minivans but uh, I've got one as you can see in the background so anyway we'll get straight into it in the usual fashion um, you all know me this is a vintage matchbox there's got to be vintage matchbox in there somewhere but this is a vintage matchbox mini wagon <coughs> excuse me now this one I can't remember if this is a Dodge version or if it's the other version, so we'll look. So on this it just says uh, to 84 Dodge Caravan. But I know there's also another version that looks exactly the same. And I think it's called the Chrysler something else. I've completely forgotten. Uh, the copyright is 1993. So this is a fairly old piece. And apart from some weird dust on the inside of the windows... Almost looks like it's been sat for a long time. This has been sat for a long time. Fun enough, it just sat in its box when I opened it. It had been open before and the dust got in. There you go, you've got the sliding door, which is a bit uh, bendy. But that is going to be my first piece and the only minivan, like I said, that I, that I think I've got. I knew where this one was too, anyway. So that's going to be the first piece, so that's a great start. Second piece is going to be another match, uh, another vintage Matchbox piece, and I believe this is a to yeah Mercury Sable wagon, metal body, metal base, lens lights which are part of the screen. It is a cool piece. Opening tailgate. If it'll stay open, maybe it won't. There you go. So that is piece number two with the eight dot wheels, which is quite a big, people are quite fond of the eight dot wheels, loads of usual matchbox suspension. So that will be piece number two. Uh, piece number three is a bit of a wild card. I couldn't, I don't know if it actually says what it is. I'm just having a little look, but I just couldn't resist. It is a, it is a, um, a wagon, but it is a crushed one. This is, this came from a monster monster truck set and is obviously the crushed car that comes with it and I just I just I actually have this on display downstairs on one of my racks I just think it's done so nicely all it could do with now is a little bit of weathering a little bit of uh, rust and weathering applied to it and this will look awesome but you know me as usual I've just been too busy to touch anything custom wise recently but it is very nicely done it is a metal casting with a plastic base. It does, for those that don't know, this it does roll really well. They've actually made these really, really well. Did a great job. It almost looks like the parts are going to rip off. And yeah, it's got, it has got an interior, even though you can't see it has, but it has got a crushed interior. And it just says, we 2019 copyright, flat iron. Yeah, cool, very cool. So that's piece number three. Uh, piece number four is actually a piece, probably one of my last customs that I did a few months ago now. And I think it is this 64, so a little look, it's a 64. I always forget what year this Nova Wagon is. But I think it's a 64 Nova Wagon um, wagon. And I had some General Lee decals or decals or you want to call them transfers and I decided to paint this this awesome color and put on the decals quite a simple custom but the paint turned out very nice and I had to tub the wheels out and everything on the back but yeah paint's looking awesome um, you can just about make out the toolbox in the back and the little tools you can just about see them. Seat belts are painted in, or the seat belt receptors, should I say? 
great deep dish and it is a roller so that is piece number four uh, piece number five is going to be from green light and again I think this is another mercury wagon so there you go it is obviously as you can tell by the green wheels it is a green machine and like I said you can see the brown metallic paint opening tailgate and I believe it is a Mercury, let's have a look. You can see what it says, green light's usually pretty good for. There you go, 1980 Mercury Grand Marquette Coney Park. Am I saying that right? Quite a low numbered one as well. But yeah, I've got a few of these, but I just thought I'd show this one. Not a few of these, a, I've got a few different versions of this is what I should say. But that is an awesome awesome piece got the faux wood going down the side like a lot of those station wagons back in the day <clears throat> moving on to another matchbox but this is a modern matchbox i believe it's an amc and again i'm not quite sure what amc this is there we go amc is it eagle pretty cool again got that faux wood pretty cool basic model and until I got this model I never knew this car existed so that's a bonus so that is the AMC Eagle apparently next piece is from Hot Wheels and it is the quite popular 510 wagon in this whatever it's supposed to be livery but I do the reason I haven't done nothing to this is that as much as I'm not into the big decals on the sides of cars like this or at least not ones that like this um, I do like the colour, that sort of uh, flippy flop paint colour, whatever you want to call it, pearlescent and the white, it just seems to look good so that's hence why I've not done nothing with it, maybe in the future you never know when it comes to main lines in my collection none of them are really that safe they could always be facing a wheel swap or a custom but that is the 510 wagon Again, sticking with the Hot Wheels, uh, this one is a Chevy Nomad. Again, I don't have many Nomads in my collection, unfortunately. But this is a very nicely done one to have that. So there you go, it has got sort of weird patination on the ribbed roof. So, very cool, and I believe it's a 55 Chevy Nomad. And then the last piece is going to be a Mercedes Benz. And like I said, over here we call these estates, estate cars. Pretty cool, nicely done. Does have, if I get the zoom on, some plate detail. There you go, MB1980, which is pretty cool. 200, I believe that says TD for turbo diesel. But it is a cool little piece. There you go, 1980 Mercedes Benz. W123 wagon anyway so that is my pieces for the challenge again like I always say I could have pulled out lots and lots and lots but I don't want to boring anybody with too much cars when it drags on um, check out Paul's channel awesome guy um, he is the hatchback hatchback king loves his Volkswagens loves his Golfs um, and like I said, show some great, great videos. Has that all got into there? You go they all into shot now. No, nope, too far. Back out. There we go. A little bit more. But yeah, I'll leave his channel link there or his channel logo there. And uh, with that, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more challenge videos, vintage Matchbox Mondays episodes, and uh, other unboxing videos. And eventually, one day in the future, whenever we'll get around to it, I'd, I'd like to do a custom again. And with that. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.